Seattleites and water go together. Pick a body of water and someone's probably splashing around in it. Not always a good thing. Especially if sewage is released into that water after one of our area's heavy rains. For something that looks so pristine, that sounds pretty nasty. What you're Andrew Lee of Seattle Public Utilities met me on a Ballard dock to discuss what's sparking the planned upgrade of several area sewer systems. The actual combined sewage overflows, they occur about 10 to 20 times per year from this location. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned, it's about 10 to 20 million gallons. Um, it's about 10% sewage, about 90% stormwater. And um, what the part that we're most concerned about is there is bacteria inside the sewage that we, we try to encourage people not to be entering the, the, the water when those overflows are occurring. There are 14 other Seattle neighborhoods that have sewer systems just like Ballard. Systems where sewage and stormwater both run through the same pipes. So Andrew, are we talking about our system is broken, that sewage is allowed to do this? Yeah, no, actually, um, the system when it was designed about 100 years ago and when it was originally constructed was um, designed to, to take the sewage and the stormwater out of people's homes and out of the streets and pipe it directly to the water. Currently, the so-called combined sewer systems in Seattle and King County dump nearly 30 billion gallons of sewage into area waters each year during mammoth storms. Seattle hopes to get its discharge total down to 30 million gallons a year by 2025. But the city didn't hit upon this idea alone. Now, it sounds like you guys are being proactive, but the yeah. federal government is making you do this. Am I That's correct? That's correct, yeah. And so we are um, currently under a National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System permit mm -hmm. from the Washington State Department of Ecology. Besides the Department of Ecology, the EPA is pushing 800 cities nationwide to clean up their act. Seattle's been making improvements since the 70s, but has hit upon three more remedies to make this less likely in our future. The first is to add gates inside some combined sewers to allow the pipes to hold more storage. Another plan is to build at least five huge storage tanks citywide, like the one planned for Magnuson Park. The tanks would store up to 2 million gallons of sewage for 12 to 24 hours until the treatment plant can adequately process it. But the most creative and greenest way may be the small curved street side structures already dotting neighborhoods like Ballard. It slows the water down and it also naturally absorbs it into the ground. And so by the time you get through this entire pathway, um, there's, there's less water going into the sewer system as a result. And when it does get overwhelmed, it imperils, you know, the, the sound, it imperils, you know, our homes because the system can't handle what we're throwing at it. So, Ballard resident okay. Eleanor Trainer believed so much in the rain gardens, she put four in her front and backyards. A nearly $5,000 project that was mostly free. My entire front yard here um, and a portion of my backyard was funded by the City of Seattle. It's looking between 90 and 100 percent of the cost of installing a rain garden or cistern will be covered under the RainWise rebate. Bob Spencer says the RainWise program may be brand new, but he's betting the program that funds your rain garden by paying you four dollars for every square foot of your roof space will be a win-win. What we're paying for is control of your roof area. Remember that water that's falling on the roofs? That's going into that sewer pipe right now, and we're paying you to take X amount of roof area out. The more people who participate, obviously, the, the, greater, the, um, the greater return that we'll have. But, um, you know, even if this just controls what my yard um, puts off in terms of runoff and in terms of stormwater, then, you know, we've made a difference. Ballard neighbor Patricia McMullen is sold. I think is great because I don't think people are, you know, realize that they could get rid of the grass, put in something that's more sustainable and really enhances the neighborhood. When you say enhances the neighborhood, are we talking aesthetically? Or are we talking from a conservation point of view? Oh, I think definitely from both. I just think we have way too much grass and the problem with grass, all the chemicals that we have to use to keep it green. Speaking of green, the fact remains in 2011, Seattle sewer upgrades will cost ratepayers more, about $500 million over 15 years. But Lee says keep in mind, Seattle is further along than other cities since we began improving our sewers 40 years ago. 
Seattle could also qualify for grants, loans, and stimulus money to pay part of the costs. In the end, Lee says, how do you put a cost on ensuring water that looks pristine actually is? We want to encourage um, programs that will help clean up our waterways.